Hey everybody, how you doing? Super, super excited about this video, and I'm pretty sure I say that in every video, but today I'm extra excited, and let me tell you why. Today we are shooting some hot, hot, hot 4570 government loads. I've got quite a few videos on the 4570 government load. Up until today, most of those rounds have been pretty weak in the spectrum of 4570 loads. Pretty much everything that I've had my hands on so far has been hovering around that 1300 feet per second or so, give or take a little bit. One of you guys sent me this entire box full of stepped up hot 4570 government loads. There's four different types in here that you sent to me. These are all hovering around 2000 feet per second, all in either 405 or 430 grains. Very appreciative of that. Thank you, thank you very much. But if we've got some hot ammo, we've got to think up of some targets here for videos that will do these loads justice. So in this first video with these hot loads of the 4570, let me show you what we're gonna be shooting today with these hot hard cast 4570 loads. Check it out. I've recently cut down and fell a walnut tree, really, really big walnut tree that I was afraid that was gonna fall down on my house. Going. I cut up tons of it with the chainsaw, hauled it off, piled it up for firewood. But there are two monster logs that were so huge, so big that my little chainsaw couldn't cut them up. And they were actually, I kicked them down the hill and they're sitting here in the ditch. So the smallest one, I'm gonna attempt to put it in the back of my truck and that's what we're gonna shoot in this video with these hard cast, hot 4570 loads. So check out this big log here. Let me back up a bit so you can see it there. That one down there is about eight feet long and I'm 100% sure I cannot get that one in the back of my truck. But this one, let's measure it, put the tape on it. This one right here at the top is, what's that say? 20 inches, eh, 21 with the bark, inches in diameter. And how deep is it? 38 inches in length. And also, if you look at the bottom, it actually splits out wider. So at the bottom, the tree is almost 36 inches in diameter. I guarantee you this thing right here, not only is it awkward, but it also probably weighs, I'd say at least 200 pounds, but I'm going to go get my pickup truck, back it up close to this, see if I can put it in the back of my truck, go put it up on the mountain where we can shoot it. I also didn't mention it's like a bazillion degrees out here today. Literally, it's at least 95 degrees and crazy humid. I couldn't even get the cameras to work because the lenses were fogging up out here. But with my truck there, now you can probably see a better idea of how big this log is. So I'm going to try to load this baby up in the truck here quick. Yeah, there's absolutely no way I can lift that in the back of my truck. I'm gonna try strapping a rope to it and just dragging it, see how that works. Got the log tied up to the truck here. This may be an epic fail, but I'm gonna try to drag it here with the pickup. We'll see what happens. I cannot believe that worked, but it did. I didn't slow down, I just kept creeping all the way up the mountain. And it actually, this is a part of my front yard. The ground's so dry, it actually didn't even leave a trench or anything, so that's pretty awesome. Let's go take a look, see where we hauled it up the mountain, 
to the rifle range. And here we are out at the range still hooked up to the pickup truck been a lot of work to get this log to where we can shoot it but we're about to have a whole lot of fun let me get this log untied get my pickup out of the way and let's go load those hot rounds into the marlin model 1895 4570. all right guys we're ready to do some shooting i don't know if you can see it on my face but it is hot the sweat is literally dripping off me my entire shirt is drenched with sweat but that's not going to stop me from having some fun with these new 4570 loads that I got. Let's do a recap on this log because I've already forgot how big it is. This is black walnut, 20 inches in diameter on the front. And we are talking about almost 39 inches long there in the back. The last 4570 video I loaded, I'll put a link in the description down below, but... The low power loads at 1300 feet per second went through 10 gallons of milk jugs and I couldn't believe it. So if the lower power ones can go through 10 milk jugs, I'm pretty sure these high power ones are going to blast out the back of that log and it's going to be awesome. But let's take a look at the bullets we got here. We got a few to sort from in this box, but I think we're just going to go ahead and send it and pick out the hottest rounds that are in here so let me look up the specs here there it is so the hottest load here is a 405 grain grizzly 4570 plus p that shoots at 2050 feet per second and has 3700 and 80 foot pounds of energy i'm gonna say that again 2050 feet per second 3780 foot pounds of energy and that's the grizzly 4570 plus p that would be this one right here so we're gonna load this up super hot 4570 round put in the comments down below what do you think is going to happen to this log i think it's going to blow out the back but let's go ahead set it up by the way Y'all pray for my shoulder later. I'm pretty sure this is gonna hurt. Got the Marlin model 1895 out here. Got the big old rounds out. Hard cast over 2,000 feet per second plus P bear rounds. This is gonna be fun. Got one in the chamber. Let's line up against this log. Split this sucker up. Here we go. Well, it definitely hurt my shoulder a little bit, even though I had it square, real tight in my shoulder. I don't see anything split all the way off, but let's go check out that log, see if it came out the back. I was aiming dead center on it. I can definitely tell the difference in those loads than what I've been shooting 4570. Like I said, I can still feel it in my shoulder. Nothing ridiculous. Nothing that you wouldn't be able to handle, but definitely want to have that seated in your shoulder good. But I see the, I see the log here. Let's check it out. I was aiming pretty near dead center. If you look there, there's where the bullet went in. Now, let's go to the back and see if we can see anything. It didn't split any logs off or anything, but it very may well have come out the back. And I don't see anything. Hmm. Let's look again about where it went in. So it went in right there. It went in right there, so about the center. So if it would have come out the back. It should have come out just about here in the center through that split, but I don't see anything coming out the back. 
I tell you what, let's do this time. I'm gonna shoot another one of those grizzly loads, but aim a little bit towards the top. So if it does come out, we might have a better chance of seeing it come out or I don't know, maybe even finding the bullet, but let's shoot another one close to the top here with one of those grizzly loads. Like I said, I'm gonna shoot a little bit more towards the top. See what happens here with this one. This one I'm gonna shoot sitting here. I don't think I had seated in my shoulder as well as I did the first time. Felt like it rocked me a little bit harder. But let's go see what happened to the log on that one. It is so hot out here. I'm literally having salt fall down in my eyeballs and I keep having to wipe them. But I know we hit it. Now, the question is, what happened to the log? Let's check it out. So. There was the first shot where we didn't see anything coming out the back. Like I said, I aimed a little bit higher. There's where we hit this second time. Did the bullet come out the back here? Is that it maybe? No. And the trajectory of that bullet it would have come out about right there. So again, there's the hole. So if you look there and line it up, if it were gonna come out the back, it would 100% have blasted out right through here. Even on the second shot, that 4570 hot round did not come out the back of 38, 39 inches of black walnut. So what did we learn today? A couple things. The hot 4570 loads are definitely much more fun to shoot than the light ones. They definitely pack a punch and will bruise your shoulder, but the bigger the better in my book, I think is always the case. A lot of fun shooting those loads today. Huge, huge, huge thank you for sending those rounds in so we could make this video today. If your attacker has a 4570, you need to be behind a wall that's at least three feet thick of black walnut. Out of those two shots of those hot grizzly loads, that black walnut three feet deep did stop the rounds, which honestly surprised me. I thought they were gonna blow out the back. Huge, huge thank you for sending those rounds in so we could make this video today. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Tons more videos on the way, guys, especially some more with the 4570 round. Don't forget to check all the links in the description. Check us out on all our social media sites. Love talking to you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys. Hootie Hoo!